Shalom. Welcome to Six by Six. Six minutes a day times six days in, the, days in the week. And you get a full idea from the Rebbe. And let's review very fast because we're going to go into the deeper idea now. But first we've got to get the basic idea. And that is, is just that the sp- ten bad spies were making everybody scared. And we'll never get out of here. We're going to get killed by these giants. And Yoshua know, and Kalev, the Joshua and Kalev were the two good spies and say, calm down, and none to calm down. Hashem is with us. He's going to protect us. And we're talking about Salem, which means their help, but Sal is also playing on words. Their shadow, Sal means a shadow in Hebrew, is gone from them. And therefore, that what they do is what's going to be helpful. Meaning, if you trust in Hashem, Hashem, the Almighty, will trust, not a trust in you, but we're going to help you also. And the Baal Shem Tov learned a very deep idea, which I did tell you that we were going to go very deep, with divine providence, that Hashem is always looking over everything. I know many people say, first of all, they don't think there's a God altogether. I don't know how what they think, how this wonderful, incredible world came about, about. But even if they say, well, maybe God did make the world, but he's not here, he doesn't have time for us, he's so great, he's so infinite, what's he care about every little thing? And that is not at all a Jewish idea, Torah idea, that the Almighty cares about every single little detail, down to the minutest detail in everybody's life and in everything in the world. So it's not only Jewish people, it's not only people, it's like the Baal Shem Tov once said, that any time a leaf twirls down from a tree, like again, like we're here in Albany, that they're Andorondix. There's six million acres of Andorondix for us. I can't imagine how many trees there are. I mean, millions and millions of trees. And you say, well, if there would be one tree less, would it bother you? I wouldn't even know it's the one tree less would make a difference to me. And then if there's one leaf on that tree, I surely wouldn't care less. So who would even know? There's, then there's millions upon millions of millions of leaves in the Andorondix forest, let alone the whole world. But then on top of that, one leaf falls down and twirls down. How many times it twirls down? I, I really totally, totally can't care less of uh, every tree and every leaf. And how many times does one leaf twirl down to fall to the ground? Then it's totally, totally very, very irrelevant to me and very, very, very specific part of the creation. And the Baal Shem Tov, though, said, and how many times it twirls down that leaf to the ground? is really by divine providence. Hashem is watching over it. Every little, little thing in the world is dependent on the Almighty, even, the, again, the most minutest detail. And this is really an important idea of divine providence because a person could say, why does Hashem care about me? Uh, first of all, you're a human being. And Torah, again, that human beings are the choice of creations. We are not just a form of gorillas. We are very, it doesn't mean you can go around destroying everything, because Torah doesn't allow that either. You have to preserve nature and be part of nature. That's very important. If you need it, you need it uh, to, to cut down a tree, to make a log cabin or whatever have you. But you can pluck, harvest fruit, uh, because pluck an apple off a tree, you need to eat the apple. But still, you don't abuse the world, and that's a major idea, and Torah does protect the entire world. But everything is because of a human being. And that's the center of creation. And one of the things that the Baal Shem Tov taught, and again, if, if uh, he cares about a leaf, which I don't know if anybody ever cares about one leaf in the middle of a forest, and how many times it twirls down, a really super is not uh, totally irrelevant. But if he cares about that, he surely cares about everything we do. And this is the idea of, again, that Sal the shadow that Hashem is projecting onto us. I mean, we're the shadow, so well, we're making the shadow, I should say. What we do is just like a shadow. The way you act, you raise your hands in the air. Ooh, the shadows were uh, raising their hands. So that what you do in Hashem does correspond to that kind of idea for every person. We'll continue, conclude this whole beautiful idea of divine providence in the final section. Thank you very much.